Okay, so this tutorial is for the noses and the beaks. So basically, what we do is trace the tracer, or the kids can sketch out their own nose. I have two sizes of noses, one for a large breed dog and one for a small breed dog. Once this is traced, the student will use the Black India ink to paint it. And again, I tell them to, they fill in the nostrils here. Look at this. Okay, I tell them to point the brush straight up in the air so that it has it, so that you can use the nice tip of your brush. So it's like this, so you can use that tip of the brush to have some nice, neat lines. Fill this in. Okay, and then there's usually a dark line in the middle. Okay, now very quickly, while the, while the ink is still wet, we're gonna rinse the brush. Get some white paint. You can use white acrylic or tempera, whatever you want. And then as you paint along the edge of that ink, it picks up the ink and makes a nice gray color for the nose. That way you can still see the details of the nose. And if you want it to be a little bit darker, you can just touch the edge of that black with your brush and it'll darken it like this. So even though the nose is actually black, I'm gonna leave a little reflection of light up here at the top of the nose. You don't wanna paint it solid black because then you can't see the details on the nose. So we're just gonna use the white and it will just blend with that black and make a nice gray color for the nose. Just like this. Now I tell the kids, usually there's a reflection underneath the nostrils and there's usually a reflection on the side of the nose, so we try to keep that nice and light. So there's a reflection here in the middle, usually, and usually at the top, because usually the dogs have a wet nose. Now, if the black gets covered up too much with the white, then I have the students go back with a little more India ink and just blend that black with the white. Just like this. And there's the nose. Now for the beak, we do the same thing. Um, we just outline it with the black paint and color it in. Uh, we leave white in the middle as a reflection on the beak, about right there, um, so that the beak looks shiny. And then we do two little black dots at the top for the beak, for the nostrils on the beak. Um, now the eagle beak, I would use the brown and the yellow and maybe a little bit of gold blended together. Um, <clears throat> brown on the edge, and then blended that with a little bit of gold, and then the gold blended into yellow. And that's usually the colors that we use for the eagle beak um, instead of the paint. So there's that. These are the tracers for the beak, and the eagle beak is a little bit longer than the owl beak is a little shorter and we have different shapes. And for the cat nose, it's very similar to the dog nose with the line and the students would paint 
the nostrils here, a little line down the middle, and outline the shape. And then they would color it with dark pink and light pink. And they would blend it from dark to light, just like we did the eyes from dark to light. So there's, um, there's a dark pink and there's a peach color and a tan color. And we use all those colors to make the nose have a little bit of value so it's not flat.